Welcome, welcome, to, welcome to the loud. This is, this, is, this is loud pipes, and this is this is this, this is my show. Hold up, talking about. Bow your head. Hey there, this is Sydney Squid, your local bow, bow, bow. Bow your head. cephalopod. Bow your head. Bow your head. And I want to talk to you about Atgat. All the gear, all the time. <laughs> yes, yes. Well, you guys know me. I say it's 90% rider, 10% gear. But uh, there are probably many of you that. Uh, well, I know there are many of you. Yeah, see, I was looking at that guy. He started to pull out, then he saw me. 90% rider, 10% gear. Of course, all of you that have been riding for all these one or two years <clears throat> might be saying at this point, all the gear, all the time, all the gear, all the time. Yeah, but what about that 10% of the time? Well, for you, it's probably like 70% of the time. It's it's the gear. Bow your head! And 30% of the time, it's your ability to ride. It's not so much the gear. And um, it's being able to use your head to keep out of a place where you might have an accident. Looking way out there beyond for possible problems and then adjusting your riding in order to facilitate those problems. Still gonna have close calls? Yeah. Still gonna have an accident? Maybe. You know, the idea that you're going to go down uh, may stand true for uh, new riders. And it may, uh, you know, maybe it stands true for every rider at some point, you know, they're gonna go down. Usually it's when they're a new rider. But it seems to me a lot of the younger motorcyclists that I converse with on a regular basis, their mindset is, well, it's inevitable I'm going to crash. So I'm going to wear all the gear all the time. And I say, 